Welcome in Renegades. So today we're going to be talking about a little bit of news about at Denver. Um, and then we are going to go into what is going on right now. Um, according to my video yesterday, I am seeing a big retracement before um, the Bitcoin halving for all of crypto. Um, I think we might continue to pump up for a little while, but I see a big retracement with Bitcoin moving so high so fast. Um, and I've seen that before. So we're going to look and see what the charts say about that. Um, but first, let's get into some news. We have Definity live from ETH. Denver. So I am going to link this in the description below. You can check it out, listen to this recording, and check out what Definity is doing at ETH Denver. Pretty cool stuff going on over there. Um, let's go. So I am actually a beta tester for this app called, or DAP called Rubaru. Um, this is on the internet computer. It's a lot like Instagram. Um, so we are actually um, testing this. So I, I can't wait to see, you know, all the big things that they do. It's kind of cool to be over there already. Um, and so DSO, Decentralized Social Media, claims to have everything on chain. But big assets, images and videos, on chain storage is still a work in progress. Surprise, surprise, Rubaru has it all. With all content, including images, videos, and even audio stored and streamed fully on chain, supercharged by Definity's full on chain capabilities. So, this is pretty cool. Everything is stored on chain, which means it is unhackable. You know how, like, your Twitter account gets hacked sometimes? You know, Instagram? Well, no longer is that a worry that you will have because your account will be secure on the blockchain. Um, you will use your internet identity to log in and it will be safe. So, this is cool. Can't wait to see what they do. Shout out, Rubaru. We're trying to get them on the channel. Um, we had planned to have them on, um, but it would be cool right up to their launch. So, I want to check out the CFGI. This is going to be a quick video today. So we are in greed on the four hour right now. And let me just kind of slide that over. Um, it looks like the whales are looking neutral right now. They're waiting to see what happens on the four hour. Order book is looking negative, which means people are seeing a $13 ICP as a level where they're trying to sell their ICP. So this goes into what I'm saying. I do see a pullback coming in, but not for long. Maybe just a quick wick down, um, maybe a week um, or a couple days down and then a move to the upside. But I think coming up to that Bitcoin halving, we're going to see some retracements and some corrections. It's natural. It's normal. We want to see corrections um, so that we can keep moving higher. And even on the daily, we're in the greed. The whales are negative on the daily. We have to take that into consideration. And I'm one of the most bullish people in crypto. So if I'm telling you to be careful, I think it's about time to, to kind of, you know, see what's going on. You know, you can still day trade, but be very careful because there could be a move to the downside. You get liquidated, you get wrecked, all that, all that bad stuff. So, um, but the volume's looking positive, which is a good thing to keep us, you know, uh, maybe heading back up towards the top of, um, you know, that, that median price, you know, intersecting with that going above it. But I'd like to see us cool off a little bit more so that we can really make a big move the next time we break out of that level. It tells us whether we're bullish or bearish, the weekly RSI um, average, simple moving average. That's all that is. So, and the technicals are looking positive. So, we'll see. We'll see um, the daily. So, let's go over here. Let's get to this daily. And we have this nice, nice um, double bottom here. The problem is it, it is at an area where there is a significant amount of resistance. Any level higher than this, this is the level that, that people are comfortable selling at, but they're waiting to buy until it gets up to about 1459 or maybe even 1370, right? Because if it gets above this level, that's higher than this wick that we had, this wick over here. This is a significant level, even up to 1395. So I think this is going to be the profit taking area from about 1322, or I'd even say even, you know, $13 all the way up 
to this $14 level. So yeah, and this RSI on the daily did break to the upside, so we could see a test of this level, but I don't think we're gonna be um, sustainably going you know, up, up higher and higher with this weekly RSI being the way that it is underneath. And it does look like um, it's only about three point uh, some points away, three point something away. Um, but that is the simple moving average is still overbought at 70. So we really need that average to start coming down. We could make another move um, to the upside, but it wouldn't be as sustainable as if, say, we go back down to this 60 level, but not just go down, but have that simple moving average come down a little bit. That's what we need. Uh, and then get a lot more volume. Um, you know, we could sustain above this, but I think with the Bitcoin having, that was my factor with us being below here and before the Bitcoin having, I think we're going to have a, a significant, um, correction. And so, um, if that does happen, I see ICP coming down here. Hopefully we get the simple moving average around 65 down, you know, to wherever, um, to that, that 59 area. Um, yeah, so that's what I see, but let's go look and see why. The technicals are bullish right now. Well, we do have this double bottom right here that could uh, actually temporarily bring us a little bit higher. You know, this kind of double bottom right here, we could see a move back up to this 1370. Um, but unless we get above like about $14, I don't really see any significant movements to the upside. Um, for sustainable periods of time. We might go up and test, you know, this area again, but this is going to lead us into a falling wedge as well, which could be bullish, you know, in the long term. Say we do go down, you know, let's see where these lines would bring us if, if we were to go down. So we got a descending triangle right here, which is bearish. So that kind of goes with what I'm saying. I don't know why they say on the daily it's bullish, but if I move this, say, here, and then here, we do have a falling wedge. So I could see us really going down somewhere around 1150. You know, we could follow this. If we fail to break this area, we're going to get pushed down to this 1284 level because of the EMA 25. We're above that, which is bullish. So the EMAs are looking bullish. Maybe that's what they're talking about, the EMAs, because we are above. And that's the 25, and that's a really, uh, you know, good indicator to watch. Us breaking out of the daily RSI is bullish in the short term. So if we do, like there is a possibility to go up here. But with this, you know, descending wedge right here, it is saying that we're, we're bearish right now. And so it, we're just kind of in a neutral area on the daily on that. Now... Let's get rid of all that and just see. We do have a big ascending triangle, though. We have this area where it is a continuation pattern. So what I would like to see is some sort of a breakout. You know? So we have this big ascending triangle right here. So this is bullish. Okay, we, we're climbing, we're getting higher lows, higher lows. Um, we have had a significant amount of resistance right here, but we are getting higher highs and higher lows moving up this way where we're at right now. So I, I do see a little bit more bullish than bearish right now, but I'm watching for these levels because if we do break them, you know, there's a lot of resistance we're breaking here with this upward trending support line with the descending triangle over here. Um, and then that falling wedge that could bring us back down to, you know, that 1164 area. So I'm really not seeing this pattern being sustainable, um, you know, going into the halving. That's, that's in May, though. So we got a couple months. So if we really look out, we could actually break out of this area and go up and possibly touch about 16 in the next couple of months. But in the, in the short term, if we break this, we are going to see a significant move to the downside with that, that RSI, you know, not being able to, to have enough volume. And let's go look at that right now. So it looks like we have 175 million in volume, which is sustaining the price. 
If this was at 100 million, we would absolutely keep going down. So that RSI means absolutely a lot, but it is only confirmed by the amount of volume because that's what the RSI is. Does it have enough volume to continue price? And if we get enough volume, even though we're under that median simple moving average 14 um, week, then we can sustain um, at this level with about 175 to 300 million per day, um, we will stay above that level. And we're number uh, 20, which means other cryptos are moving up. But ICP has held 6 billion for a long time. Um, it's just cooling off right now. And even at cool in a cool off period, that's at 175 million in the last 24 hours. So um, yeah, th this is looking pretty decent on that time frame. We are um, definitely going to be um, looking at the four hour. And as you see, um, things are, you know, starting to move again to the upside. We are above the EMA 25 at 1294. Um, but there is going to be a significant amount of resistance right where we're at right here. Um, kind of a box area you know, from 1323 to 1339. And then there, I mean, just this whole area, this, you know, kind of big cluster of, you know, resistance is going to keep us from moving up to this part, you know, which is anything above this 1370 area. So if we fail to get a back above that, there's probably going to be that retest of around, you know, $12 on the four hour and then a little bit below that, um, you know, on the daily. So I'm looking at this as kind of a, a good area um, to see a retracement because it'll kind of touch this area as support and maybe wick down a little bit like before. So uh, I'm bullish on ICP, though. It does look like we might be able to break out of this um, possible falling wedge. Let's see. So we did break out of a falling wedge right here and we are testing support. Let's get rid of everything. Do that fresh. So we did break out right here um, and then confirmed it as support. So that's going to be support as well. So I'll be watching that 1283 uh, area, 1294 up here. Uh, for the moving average, and then we can see what else we got over here. Yeah. So it does look like that was some sort of a falling wedge, but then again, we also have this descending triangle right here, um, which broke to the upside, which is good, but this area is still something I'm going to be watching if we break 1225, there will be that move down to about 1170. So you could also kind of just put this like this, right? And then we have a falling wedge. So there could be like a test down to 1276 or a breakout up here at 1334. And that's what I'm watching too. And if we do, we are going to be going up to 1464. And if you ask, well, why don't you tell us if it's going to break out and where it's going to go? Well, I can't tell you if it's going to break out, but I can tell you what levels to watch. So you need to watch your phones, watch your, uh, watch your charts so that you can watch these levels and if they break with some significant volume uh then i do see a possible test back up to this 1464. that would be a really nice area you know to see um icp move to in, in the short term so that's about all we're gonna have today thank you for stopping in smash that like button subscribe if you haven't and if you notice and watching my videos these price targets normally hit right around where i say and so not financial advice but really watch those areas i put limit orders in as they go down um it's dollar cost averaging it's buying the dip it's getting in before you have like one second so that's the way to do it set your limit orders um you know take profit when it goes to these areas in your day trading bags because i hold a long-term bag in internet computer but i love to trade and sometimes doing futures trades and all that fun good stuff so all right guys that being said goodbye and good icp Bang!